Hello, Georgia. Good morning. <laughs> this is Georgia Cohn, uh, Greek American. And this morning we're going to cook from the food and wine of Greece. She's holding the book right there, um, which is a book that the Dowdy Corners Cookbook Club is currently reading and cooking from. So if you could, Georgia, maybe talk about what you're going to make today. And I think you're going to pick something from the book, but it, the version you're going to do is slightly different. It's your family's twist on the same dish, and you're going to do a couple different variations. That's correct. The dish is called spanakoriza, which really means a spinach and rice pilaf. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. And the recipe in this book is your basic vegetarian version. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not sure which region Diane Kokulis got this from, but since my family is from the Peloponnese, um, we in added tomatoes to this particular spinach and rice dish. Okay. So that's one variation. Um, why why tomatoes and why the Peloponnese? They're just well, they grow well there. They're abundant. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Tomatoes are abundant in the Peloponnese okay. as well as lemons. Okay. And another interesting thing that we learned um, is that according to culinary rules, I guess, I'm not really familiar that much with the scientific aspect of using an acid with another acid. Okay. For instance, uh, most recipes don't use lemon with tomato, but in mm -hmm. the Peloponnese, we always use lemons with tomato. Double acid. <laughs> Double acid. And again, it's another reason, I mean, the reason I think is because lemons also were abundant. And so tomatoes and lemon are two ingredients that are... Mm -hmm pretty much everywhere, almost on all, or many of the meat and chicken dishes, as well as in the pilas. Mm -hmm. In this um, cookbook version, there is no tomato, but it's the basic version for this pilaf. And my family um, version is adding the tomatoes for the vegetarian version. Mm -hmm. okay. Then another thing that, that I grew up was, with was um, doing this spinach and rice pilaf with chicken. And that's the common way that we had it as a main entree, non-vegetarian. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to be doing that this morning, doing the chicken version. Okay. And then there's one more version. You can use that basic spinach and rice pilaf um, without the chicken, but after it's finished cooking, mm -hmm. we add shrimp to it, cooked shrimp, sprinkle it with feta, and put the whole casserole in the oven so the feta will melt. Mm, so, lovely. in other words, we have three different ways to use this spinach and rice mm -hmm. pilaf. Okay. And so when you do add the protein, then it does become the main dish, the That's meal, it. as it were. Mm -hmm. And so when it's vegetarian, is it usually then served as a side dish? Not necessarily. De not necessarily. Not necessarily. Depends on how much meat the family eats. And, exactly. And another know. interesting thing I think about <clears throat> this that you don't think about very often, I don't think, is that... Um, my sister actually found this little tidbit of information in, in some research we were doing that um, in Greek cooking, even though it's not vegetarian cooking, there there's the least amount of meat in this oh. particular cuisine than other European cuisines. So meat mm -hmm. is, you know, was actually saved for special occasions and holidays and that sort of mm -hmm. thing. So many of the meals are vegetarian. Mm hmm Okay. And with legumes or... And legumes, yes. <clears throat> protein, and the, of course. the feta or cheeses, of course, another many form. Many cheeses and many eggs. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, and, okay. Um, so that was, you know, mm -hmm. how to complete, how to mm -hmm. have a vegetarian meal, of course, and a complete protein. Yeah. Okay. And um, since you're talking about the research you've done, we should mention the research is for a book that you're working on with your sister, right? That's correct. So, yes. do you want to say something about that? Yeah, it's a cookbook that we've been working on for several years, and it started because we traveled to Greece together mm -hmm. with our husbands, and so the cookbook is not only recipes, but uh, a travelogue. It's it's uh, entrees from our... Excuse me, I have food on the brain. It's not entrees, it's <laughs> entries. <laughs> okay, from, from, from your our, diaries. From my okay. diaries, from my journals, yes. Plus mm -hmm. many recipes. So, uh, we've been working on it. It's... it's uh, right now being proofread, so we hope it'll be out soon. Okay, great. In 2011, this year? I hope so. <coughs> mm -hmm. I hope so. Mm -hmm. Great. Do you have a working title for it? Or? Yes, we do. The title at this moment is A Greek Feast of Joy. 
Great. So we're really excited about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. So would you All right, like well, to thank start? Yeah, we'll move into the kitchen. Okay, good. Okay.